<laughs> you are one of the senators, and your career, you're one of the earliest supporters of charter schools. Absolutely. And we've had I, a number of charter, we think in, in this program, a number of very successful charter schools. What's your feeling of charter schools? What's, and where are we going to go from I've, here? Um, you know, I was part with, uh, with Senator Mike McCartney at the time. We had uh, written the first charter law. Uh, you know, and we had gone statewide on hearings, and we've engaged, you know, teachers and parents and students and um, professionals uh, throughout the state to talk about charters. You know, and when we had um, passed the law, it really was about in e equipping the school with the ultimate waiver, you know, the waiver of all laws and procedures and bureaucracies mm -hmm. uh, to give them a chance to put um, uh, what should be taught and how it should be taught uh, first rather than bureaucracy. Uh, and so, I mean, I think we've seen successes. You know, it's, it's like anything else. I think there are charters that are really working well, mm -hmm. and then the, there are charters that aren't, aren't doing so good. Now, two years ago, we rewrote the entire charter law right. uh, to be more along the model, and we increased the accountability. So charters are now getting performance contracts with the, the Charter Review Board there will be explicit um, performance standards that they have to be met. And then there will be, even though the, the law from the very first day required a review of charters, they've never implemented the law. And so the new board will has initiated the process so that charters will be reviewed on a regular basis to ensure that um, students are getting the education that they deserve. Uh, this is... Uh to me, the charter schools seem to be a major innovation, regardless of the problems that they are having. And some are, some are, but hey, there's some public schools that are a problem.